Hi viewers, uh, I am here for another video. See, you know that this is one of the important topic for CMA exam, usually we call LCM rule. But before going to this topic, I'll give you some guidance about inventory initial measurement because it's the measurement which we are doing at the end of the period, say 31st of December, you are closing your financials books so on 31st of december inventory should appear in the books as per lcm rule lcm rule mean law of cost or market mean to say inventory should appear in the financial statements either at market or cost whichever is low so it's when you listen this statement market or cost whichever is low so it looks very simple, like things does not look, does mean things are not very much complicated. But the problem is there about the calculation of market. So market, you have to learn how to calculate. So it's, if we talk about the inventory, what's the definition of inventory? Any item which we bought in the business for reselling purpose, we are defining as inventory. Friends, you know that we are having different kind of business like in a trading concern, say if we are doing the trading, in a trading concern, we are having only one kind of inventory, which we call finished goods inventory. And in a manufacturing concern, students, we are having three kinds of inventories. We say raw material inventory, work in process and finished goods inventory. Students, so work in process are those goods which are partly completed goods for us. Say we are running the furniture manufacturing business. Say the structure of the furnitures are ready, but not yet polished. So those will fall under work in process. Correct? Students, so initially when we buy the stock, we make sure that we are recording it at cost. And what is the cost of inventory? total cost which we incur to bring it till warehouse say to bring it till warehouse whatever the cost you incur that is actually the cost of inventory say you made some payments to supplier you paid custom duty you paid air freight and students, any other cost which you paid to bring it till warehouse that will be the total cost of inventory so initially when you bought the stock, all right, you record it at cost, but this rule, which we are discussing, this is regarding inventory measurement in the financial statement. Like when you are closing the period at which cost it should appear in your financial statements. So for this purpose, friends, as per gap treatment, we have to apply LCM rule. And in order to apply LCM rule, you have to learn that how to calculate the market first. Like if you learn how to calculate the market, after that application is not a big deal. Students, so in order to calculate the market, what you have to do, you have to understand these two terminologies. If you are clear about these two terminologies, after that we can simply calculate the market. Students, so in order to calculate the market, what you have to do, you first have to calculate NRV ceiling from the given data and the formula for NRV ceiling we are having sales minus cost of completion minus cost of disposal. So this is the formula to calculate NRV ceiling. So all these things will be given in the question, like later you will see some videos for the questions as well. Right now we will solve one example. So all these uh, things will be given in the question. So you just have to pick up from the question and you need to calculate NRV ceiling first in order to calculate the market. Over next, next target students we are having, we have to calculate NRV flow. In the next target, we have to calculate NRV floor and the formula for NRV floor, we are having NRV 
ceiling minus profit margin mean from the nrv ceiling you have to subtract the profit margin which will be given in the question and you will have nrv flow all right students once you already have these two things after that what you have to do crc crc stand for current replacement cost say crc will also be given in the question so we should have these three values once we are having these three values we can easily calculate the market So in order to calculate students market, you should have these three things with you. NRV ceiling, I explained you how to calculate. NRV floor, how to calculate. And CRC is the short name of current replacement cost. This will also be given in the question. So once you already have all this information, students, now you have to apply the two steps rule. In order to apply two steps rule, we need some some figures so which we will borrow right now from a uh, glam book students uh, my videos will be based on uh, glam syllabus i am following the glam syllabus so if you are uh, studying through glam material so i am at page number 72 now so if you really want to follow it through the book Students, on page 72 of the GLAM book, we are having the example. There you can see that item A, sale price is given 80 and cost of completion is 20. Cost of disposal is 6. So once we calculated this figure, we got an RV ceiling how much? 54. Now how to calculate floor? Ceiling you are having 54. Profit margin you can see that here it's given 3. And like that, I got the floor 51. So two values you already have. Now let's talk about CRC students. CRC, you can also take a look here. It's given. So once you are having these three things, now you need to apply the first rule. What is the first rule? He says that CRC will be the market provided that it is not crossing NRV ceiling and NRV flow. So it's this statement you need to keep in mind always whenever you are calculating the market you need to apply the rule number one so what is the rule number one i am saying crc will be the market provided that it is not crossing an rv ceiling and an rv floor so how you can check it is it's not crossing so if you are the beginner you need to withdraw the number line and try to put these these values on the number line like we can say that here we will start from this side say 51 is over nrv floor 52 we are having on the number line 53 54 is over nrv ceiling so i want to check the rule number one which says that crc will be the market provided that it is not crossing NRV ceiling and NRV floor. So like you can see here, students, when I withdraw the numbers, see 51 is my floor, 53 is my CRC, and 54 is ceiling. So you can see that 53 is staying between these two numbers. It's not crossing. It's staying in between these two numbers. So. In this particular example, rule number one is satisfying the condition. So CRC can be over market. So you declare that students, CRC is actually your market. All right, students, this was the rule number one. Now I need to apply the rule number two. 
in order to apply the rule number 2 we need to consider some different values again students always i need to calculate nrv ceiling and nrv floor as you are already familiar about the formula how we calculate sales minus cost of completion minus cost of disposal Here, students, we are having formula NRV ceiling minus profit margin. So let's consider some other values. So why we are going for another value? So that if the first condition is not satisfying uh, the complete criteria, so what can be the next situation? Students, here we can see that. Uh, on the same page i am having another example here my sale is 70 my cost of completion i have 0 and my cost of disposal is 5 so like that my nrv ceiling is 65 how to get float ceiling is 65 subtract the profit margin which is 7 in this situation so like that students 58 is your float CRC now over CRC is fifty five. Students, if you remember what was the first rule, we said that if the CRC is not crossing these two limits, then actually CRC is over market. Let's withdraw the numbers on the number line. Students, here fifty five is your CRC fifty six. Fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty, sixty-one, sixty-two, sixty-three, and sixty-five. Less less space. So CRC is staying here, and this is my NRV flow, and this is my. and rv c students here you notice that like in my previous example you notice that crc was staying in between of these two values but here we notice that it is not staying between these two values so here we need to check which particular value it is crossing it is actually crossing 58 how it is crossing it is crossing 58 by going below 58 so in this case towards the limit which it is crossing that particular limit is your market so if the first condition is not satisfying so you have to check crc crossing the which value if it is crossing ceiling or if it is crossing floor like in this example you notice that it was crossing floor how it is crossing it is going below 58 so that's why nrv floor is my market students we'll go through another example so in that case we might have the situation that it is crossing nrv ceiling so for your better understanding i think we can do one more example so the person who will go through all of these examples he will never have the issue about calculating the market is one of the important topic usually the questions uh, test uh, coming from this particular topic so make sure that it's fully clear with you students we will go for another example say again we have to calculate nrv ceiling what's the formula sales minus cost of completion minus cost of disposal students for your better understanding let me explain you one more time what is the meaning of cost of disposal say you are having work in process inventory cost of completion students we are discussing say you are having work in process inventory which is 70% completed correct and we are calculating the market of that one so remaining students 30% more we require to complete it so that will be considered as cost of completion cost of disposal say you are paying the sales commission to your sales person 
so on each unit say you agree that say the selling price is ten dollar for each unit they will get one dollar as commission so this one dollar can be considered as cost of disposal all right so I mean, this will be our last example i will not make this video too long for you nrv floor so the people who already cleared they can quit this video now but who need more understanding let's move for the next one say here i am having the formula nrv ceiling minus profit margin so let's here let's consider some values 44 minus 3 minus 2 you got the value 39 which is for nrv ceiling and nrv floor how you will get ceiling minus profit margin the profit margin now i am having the question which i am doing from the book students here my profit margin is 4 so like that i got 35 crc in this example i am having 40 my crc is 40 so let's try on the number line see here 39 is my nrv ceiling and 40 is my crc so i don't need to work on the floor as well see nrv floor is 35 you can see that here it is crossing nrv ceiling how it is crossing it is going above this value so this particular thing is actually my market now 39 is over market students this was the whole method to calculate the market now we have to talk about the application of this rule lcm rule say students you did one example and your market was 85 and your cost is 100000 so if we are applying the lcm rule which says that lower of cost or market mean to say here you need to do the right off of inventory with the amount of 15000 so you will pass this entry loss from inventory debit with the amount of 15000 and inventory credit with the amount of 15000 so with this entry actually your inventory will appear at 85000 which is market lower than cost so it's one important rule you have to keep in mind here as per gap once we pass this right of entry we cannot reverse it next year so reversal not possible if we are following the gap i hope that students this topic is fully clear for you if you are having any question you can ask in the comment section thank you very much